Right, I've been asked to do a quick review on the settings on the, the Equinox 800, okay? So we'll just turn it on, the power button there. Right, now it's come on, you've got this button here, which puts you through the preset modes. Okay, so you've got the first, which is Park 1 and Park 2 for trashy areas. You've got Field 1 and Field 2, which is for out in the pasture. You've got Beach 1 and Beach 2, which is for wet and dry sand. And you've got Gold 1 and Gold 2, which is for gold prospecting, for nuggets. Okay, so I'll we'll set it onto the uh, the field one. The set the, the centre button there is for the settings. Yet it first, and that gives you your noise cancel. When you've messed with all your settings and set everything up, you always have to do a noise cancel to settle everything down and get it all running smoothly. Okay, so then you've got the ground balance. I always set it at zero um, for when I'm out on the pasture or if I'm out on dry sand. If there's a lot of mineralisation, then you can just either put it on the little button there, which come up there, the little symbol, which is the tracking, the tracking ground balance. Well, if you put that on there and the mineralisation changes, then um, it'll automatically change it. To knock it off, press the up or down button. If you want to do a manual ground balance, keep your finger on that one there, pump the coil, and it'll automatically give you the ground balance of what your soil is or your sand is. But that's only if you gain a lot of trouble out in the field or wherever you're working and you gain a lot of trouble with, with it being noisy and there's, one, there's a bit of mineralisation in the soil. So the next one is the volume. You can adjust your volume up. I normally set it on 23, which is quite good on, on the headphones when I'm out on the beach. Um, because the wind's blowing and sometimes it can be a bit low but I, I find 23 is about right keep your finger on the settings button and it puts you into the advanced settings so these are the volume of your tones so that first one there is your iron now I put my iron volume on 4 um, you can have it on 1 or 2 if you want but I like either the iron the iron because I run it on all metal quite a lot of the times and if you've got the volume on 4 or 5 then you can uh, you can hear what's underneath the ground. The next segment is what your signals come in. Because it's on, on two tone, there's only two segments, there's two, there's two volumes. So I've got that one set on 25. Keep your finger on again and it puts you back on the normal settings. The next one, your threshold. You've got your threshold volume, which is standard, set at zero. You can turn it up to whatever you want and that just gives you the background hum. So Basically, if you've got a hum and it changes tone or or changes in in a bit of a blip or whatever, you'll know that something under the ground. So it's very sensitive. It's for the it's for the advanced users really. Keep your finger on it there, and it gives you the threshold pitch, which is set at four as standard. The factory settings are set at four. So you've got your target tone. Your target tone is two two tones. You can either go on two tones, five tones, or fifty tones. But for on this preset, it's set at 2. Keep your finger on it. And then you can set of whatever you want to set. So it's set there on segment number 1. And then if you go on, it's set from segment 1 to segment 20. So anything below segment 1 will come in the iron. And anything above will come in as a tone. Because it's set at 2 tones. Okay? Right, okay, you press it again, and it goes on to accept and reject. Now, on mine, I've got mine set. It's anything above a two, and it'll give me a tone. Anything below, and it won't pick it up unless you've got it in that button there, which is the all-metal mode. Now, to go into the advanced settings, you can adjust whatever you want by going up and down. So you've got the, the little signal there, which can move up or down. You can go up to where you want, so if you if you want it to start and knock that one off, you can just knock that one off or knock that one off. But I normally set it on two, so anything above a two, then it'll come in as an object 
because fine gold and coins, very fine stuff will come in above the two. So you press it again, which knocks it back into the settings. Now this one's the one that probably everybody adjusts more than anything. This is the recovery speed. It's set on six, it's standard. The lower you drop it, the deeper it can be. But obviously, depending on the, the mineralisation of the soil and other things that'll, uh, that'll cause interference, then it's probably set at six on this one. Um, but you can set it at two if you want, which will give you a bit more depth. Keep your finger on, and that's your, your iron bias. is set at two. I think it's normally set at zero. But if you set it at zero... Um, you'll be picking up loads of iron. Um, you really need it on two, three or four, but not on zero. Um, to move it up and down, you can just move it up and down there. Press it again, it goes back into the normal settings. Press it again. And once you've messed out with any of the settings there, you just press it once. Press OK, and it'll do a noise cancel. Every time that you've messed with any settings, Always do a noise cancel, and that'll stabilise the detector. Okay, this button here is your pinpoint. So if you find a signal, press it once, and it'll give you an indication. When you've got full scale, then you're right over the target, which normally is around about there, and that's about where you want to dig. The horseshoe. Is for the all metal mode, which is anything below what you've discriminated out, you'll pick up anything on the whole spectrum. Okay, now you've got this button here, which will put you onto the manual frequency, so you can set it at 5, 10, 15, 20, and 40. If it was the Equinox 600, then I think you can only go up to 15, the 20 and the 40, you can't set that as a single frequency. But I always set it in multi. <clears throat> Unless you gain a lot of interference off power lines, you can drop it down and put it on a, on a single frequency, which can help. But every time you've changed something, always press it once and do a noise cancel. Okay? And that'll stabilise the detector. You've also got these other buttons here, which you've got the next one there underneath the power button, which is your brightness. You've got on the other side at the top, which is your wireless, and which is only on the 800, on that one there, underneath the wireless, is your, your user mode. You can set that for altering the presets. If you want to alter, say, Park 1, go on the Park 1, adjust to what you want, keep your finger on the user mode there, and it'll store the settings of what you've set. So if you want to store settings for different ones, Pick that one there, and then that one is the little user mode there. So whatever you've set, or whatever you've changed, and you've stored it into the user mode, you can go back, press that at any time, and it'll bounce it back to your, to your settings of what you had before. Okay? Anything else that you want to, you want anything help about or anything, just drop us a message, and I'll get back to you and give you a hand with it. All right, then, thank you. Hope you have a good day out there detecting. I hope the, uh, the little video that I've sent you will help you out. Cheers. Bye-bye.